Not many things scare demon lords, but when a solar comes flying through the clouds, holding a glittering golden sword, large wings, um, even the toughest of the demon lords will quake uh, with fear. So let's talk about the solar of Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. Let's do it. Standing about 10 feet tall and weighing half a ton, Solars are the heavy hitters of the celestial beings. It is said that the only thing stronger than a Solar are the gods themselves. Lucky for all the enemies and all those who inhabit the lower planes, uh, there is only 24 Solars, or there were only 24 Solars. Some have fallen at this point. Um, one of the more notable Solars who has fallen from grace is Zeriel and just to put up, like, just to show how strong she is as a Solar, uh, she went from being a Celestial Warrior to running the first layer of the Nine Hells. So, I mean, you don't want to mess with them. In 5th edition, if for some reason your party, like, is fighting a Solar, maybe it's fallen, or maybe the party has fallen, I don't know, um, get ready for an incredibly tough fight. One of the tougher fights you can actually have in this edition. First of all, the Solar is a CR 23 creature, so it's, it's one of the few... Uh, 20 plus CR creatures we have along with that it's great sword averages about 49 damage per hit and it can attack twice and that's not even its strongest weapon it also has a bow that if it hits you and if you don't make the DC 15 con save and you have under 100 hit points you are just dead you do not pass go you do not collect $200 you are dead oh they also have like crazy innate spell casting they can heal uh, plane shift all that stuff uh, and yeah, that is the Solar. Uh, have you ever used one in your game? Uh, and at the end of one of my campaigns, I actually gave one of my players the ability to turn into the Solar. He was a Warforged and he worshipped the Church of Metal. He was able to turn in, turn into uh, the avatar of like metal uh, towards the end. I gave like all my players like super high boons just so the fight at the end would be crazy. Um, and he, well, he crushed the battlefield. And so, yeah, Solars, have you used them in your game? Are you planning on using them in your games? Do you have any more lore about Solars you want to talk about? Please let me know. I'm here to learn just as much as you are if you're watching this. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Be excellent to each other.